In the 50s, the hip fad was the hula hoop. Pet rocks became a novelty in the 1970s. In recent years, there was a one-time warming trend towards the Snuggie. And now, the selfie toaster? Ah, ooh, that was a hot one. Meet Galen Dively, president and CEO of the Vermont Novelty Toaster Corporation and the inventor of the selfie toaster. It was funny because, I mean, I just came up with the name selfie toaster. And people say it's genius because, you know, selfie is such big now. And I really didn't think about it. But, you know, if I had called it a picture toaster, I don't think it would have taken off the ground because the selfie is, is a big thing now. That's, that's definitely a cultural phenomenon. <laughs> I've always been searching for my pet rock. A few years ago, Dively started making stencils for toasters. Jesus was the first, but before long, Dively wore Buddha, Obama, and I love you into his repertoire. Now for the low, low price of $64, not including shipping, Dively and his team of Toastmasters will put a face on your breakfast. They upload a, a, a photograph if they want. We look at it, make sure it's going to work okay. And then we take it to our CNC cutting machine and we cut it, cut it out of a 24 gauge stainless steel. And then we grind that and we test it on our toasters, make sure it looks good. And if it needs any adjustments, I'll go back to the drawing board, make the adjustments. If it doesn't, we, uh, we put the inserts in the toasters and ship it off to the customer. The toasters Dive uses are tricked out. In other words, don't try this at home. The toaster itself has these little rails. They're, they're made special for it. Now you, can't, you don't want to put stainless steel down any toaster. You can take them out, but please uh, make sure that the, your, uh, they've cooled down and you know, for extra safety, unplug it. <laughs> Novelty or not, there is an art to making a good impression. What you're looking for is some, a fine grain bread to get the best picture on the, on, the, on the toast. Some breads have a lot of holes in them, and when you're doing a selfie toaster and you got a lot of detail in it, it doesn't come out as nice. Some designs, like the paw print, or, they'll come out on any toast. Whereas some of the selfie, because you got little lines and you got a little finer detail, if those lines go over a hole, it's not going to be there. So it doesn't come out as, 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 as good as if it was a fine grain bread. All kidding aside, Dively employs five people and has a warehouse full of toasters. When it comes to making bread, Dively is all business. Yeah, it is serious. I mean, it's a business. Uh, and my wife reminds me that every day. <laughs> every year we've doubled our production and doubled what we've been doing. We had the best third quarter ever last, this last third quarter. And this fourth quarter is looking like our best fourth quarter ever. And it's Christmas time. And it's just, and next year, Oh, we'll have our selfie toasters in stores where people can buy the toaster and there will be a code in the toaster that they go to our website, upload their picture, put the code in, and we'll send them the inserts. So as, and as soon as we expand to actual where stores are, are selling them, then uh, the next year is probably going to be, I mean, we're hoping to grow another two, three hundred, four hundred percent by next year. Fads come and go, and that's kind of the point. One thing that's never out of fashion is a good idea. Even better is a good idea that makes money. You know, necessity is the mother of all invention. And I had a whole bunch of toasters in the back part of the warehouse there that wasn't quite selling quick enough, so I had to come up with some idea to sell them quicker. <laughs> that's, that was my idea. Simple as that. <laughs> so the next time you have an idea that pops into your head, take Dively's advice. Or better yet, take a selfie. In St. Johnsbury, I'm Keith Silva with a quick defense.